I have another ammo test for you from the 380 ACP pocket pistol, the little 2.8 inch barrel, you know, as small as the palm of your hand, fits in your pocket, but can it deliver a deep enough hit that you can count on it that it can reach the vital organs of an attacker? Uh, it can with certain ammo, but I'm still looking for more. I, I found that Hornady XTPs and the uh, Federal Hydroshocks did well, but I was contacted by the people at Corbon because of the results of my 9mm ammo test, which uh, in 9mm from the pocket pistol, DPX was a fantastic performer. And they said, would you like to try our 380? And I'm like, yes, I would like to try your 380, especially because it has this little sticker that says new and improved on it. How, how can you not love that? How can you not want to test that? So, Corbon DPX 380 from the micro pistol through professional FBI specification ballistic gelatin with and without the four layers of IWBA denim. Actually, the without is going to be using the clear ballistic synthetic gel, which is the normal procedure I did for all the other 380 ammo tests. So we're going to go to the range. We're going to find out if these will meet the penetration requirements and the consistency that I'm looking for in 380 ammo. Corbon DPX new and improved 380s through the bear gel did pretty well. We did have one bullet came up a bit shorter than I like. It stopped at 10 inches. After that, they were all really very good. The next bullet came in at 11 and 3 quarters, which again is technically below the 12 inch minimum that I'm looking for, but you know, come on. And then we had the next bullet came in at 12 and a quarter, then one at 12 and 3 quarters, and the furthest bullet at 13 inches. So just based on bare penetration, they did really well, except we did have one that came up way short, and I'm not, not too happy about that one that came in at 10 inches. Through the denim, the DPX 380 came really overall really close to what we were looking for except for one bullet the shortest bullet came in at 10 and a quarter uh, not thrilled about that one but everything else is within reason uh, next shortest bullet was 11 and a half and then we had one at 12 one at 12 and a quarter inches and the furthest one was at 12 and a half so three met the spec the fourth at 11 and a half, that's, that's, you know, that's really close, especially coming from a little 380 from a micro barrel. Uh, the only one that was actually disappointing was the 10 and a quarter. Uh, other than that, through the denim, they really did seem to do very well. All right, the DPX 380, when we're looking at the recovered bullets, well, we didn't get consistent performance. You know, in fact, you have to kind of look, especially at these four through the denim, they were actually rather consistent. In fact, we've got three through the bear gel that did this same thing, where two petals peeled forward and the rest of the bullet just didn't. That might be construed as a case of bullet failure, but the thing is, when the bullet did expand fully, like this one and this one, which neither of these are actually true full expansion. They're, they're partway there, but you can see that, you know, it's not like a typical textbook bullet expansion, but when it did expand as as big as any of these did, that's when it penetrated the least. These are the bullets that are only going, you know, 10, 10 and a quarter inches. These bullets are the ones that are headed to 12 inches. So this partial expansion is not great, but it's also what kept the size down and let the penetration go up. And we did have one complete fail to expand and surprisingly enough that was in the bear gel normally when we encounter fail to expands that's in the denim compared to how i judged the nine millimeters this would look bad but compared to how so many of the 380s performed this is actually competitive or fine now i think that basically this bullet was probably engineered to require a little more velocity than a 2.8 inch barrel can give it in order for them to expand fully and reliably even so, they were moving pretty quick. They were all over a thousand feet per second. So maybe from a, a Glock 42, for example, maybe you would get complete expansion. I don't know if you get as deep penetration though. And if I had to choose between a shorter bullet that expanded bigger 
or a deeper penetrating bullet that may not have finished the expansion process, I'll take the deeper penetrating bullet to make sure that we can hit the vitals. So I was really optimistic for this load. I thought we were going to have the grand winner, especially with uh, Corbon saying right on it there, uh, new and improved. It was actually pretty decent. If it wasn't for these 10 inch bullets, this might even be in the winner's circle. But it definitely, definitely was a decent performer just not the overall superstar that I was hoping for. Okay, wrap up on the Corbon DPX, new and improved. It did pretty well, but not good enough and not consistent enough for me to put it in the winner's circle. Um, I wasn't really thrilled with the idea that most of the bullets didn't expand properly. Uh, they, they only really partially expanded. And they... When they did that, they penetrated great. We got good penetration out of a lot of the bullets, but not out of all of them, because sometimes the bullets did expand properly, and when they did, they only went about 10 inches. And 10 inches is not a disaster. Some people would be happy with 10 inches. Uh, the only real problem with 10 inches is that the FBI and the Wound Ballista Conferences determined that for reliable, deep penetration, you really want, you really prefer a minimum of 12. So I set that as my standard. Now, 10 is okay. Some people might be happy with that. 10 will get the job done in many circumstances, but not necessarily in all. You know, an example would be if somebody's pointing a gun at you and they're blocking their chest and they've got their arm in the way, well, you need another three to four inches of penetration capability to get through that arm in order to get at the chest that, that the arm is blocking. And if that happens, uh, that 10 inch bullet may not get the job done. Whereas 12 inches is usually enough to get through an arm, get through the uh, bones and the muscle and the fat and everything that's in the way, be able to reach, hit, and still have enough retained energy at that point to destroy the vital organs and stop your attacker. 10 inch, it's close. It's good. It was a good performer. It just wasn't perfectly consistent and it wasn't the best performer. So give it a good rating, but I really would rather see over 12 inches. So this would not be my preferred load for a micro uh, compact 380 pistol. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it helpful. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button and also please hit the subscribe button. And that way you'll be notified next time another video is posted.